everyone. Today I am doing another viewer's request. Recently I got a message from Michelle and she saw something in a catalog called the Sparkle Wall Cluster. And she wanted to know if I could show her how to recreate this for a home, but she wanted it in silver. While using a lot of material that I actually already had, I want to show you how I made my own version of this beautiful Sparkle Wall Cluster and how you can too. To make my wall art, I'm using a 3.9 inch half styrofoam ball. You can find this for 98 cents at Walmart. I'm using nine mirrored ball ornaments. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree around Christmas time. And if you can't find those, you can use small styrofoam balls. I got these at Walmart. I'm using two and a half inch finished trim nails, or you could use toothpicks. I'm using 12 inch metal tube rods. These are 140 for three in a pack. I got this from the hardware store and you'll need nine six inch pieces. Or you could use wooden or bamboo skewers. If you do decide to use the toothpicks and skewers, you'll also need metallic spray paint. I already had these big tubs of gemstones, so I'm picking out an assortment of different size circles. I also have lots of diamond wrap and I'm going to be using a little of this. Oh, you also need a piece of cardboard and a piece of wire. And to put everything together, I'm using a hot glue gun with super strong Gorilla Glue sticks. Now I'm going to show you two ways to build this. Uh, I will be using metal rods and nails to build this, but you could also use wooden skewers. You may already have this at home. Um, so I'm going to prepare these skewers first by spray painting them. And I'm using a styrofoam ball just to stick the skewers in so that I can spray paint them. And I'm just putting them in just a little bit by the tips. I'm not pushing them all the way down in. And this version is just an option to save a little money. I bought this bag for about a dollar for a hundred sticks and uh, you might even have these at home. So I'm going to be using nine of these rods and also two picks. I'll need 81 two picks for this project. So I'll just push all of the two picks in at the bottom here. Then I'm going to take this outside. I'm using a shiny metallic spray paint and I'm just going to spray the whole thing. This is a Rust-Oleum metallic finish and I'm going to go all around and spray every area and I'm going to do a couple of coats of this. Now while that's drying, I'm going to prepare my base piece. I got a couple of um, pieces of this half styrofoam ball, but you don't need two pieces. You could actually use the one that you put those two picks in after it's dry. But anyway, I'm using this piece of cardboard as a back end for this. And I'm just going to trace around this circle and cut it out. And this is going on the back of my styrofoam ball. But before I glue it to the back, I need to put a piece of wire in it to be able to hang it on the wall. So you want to use a strong piece of wire or um, some hanging wire. And you want to push the wire through the cardboard or you could use a um, nail to make a hole to push that in. And then you can twist tie the back and cut the wires and make it really flush. Now to attach this to the ball, I'm going to use a little E6000 in the center, especially around the metal part. And then I'm going to put hot glue around the edges. And this hot glue I'm using Gorilla glue sticks because it's a lot stronger than most hot glues. So I'm just going to put that all around the edges and um, just pretty much every area of the cardboard. And then attach it to the back of my styrofoam ball. So when this is all done, I'll have a, a little wire to hang on a nail on the wall. Okay, for my piece, I want a sparkly base. So I'm going to use this diamond wrap to cover the entire foam ball. 
I'm starting down at the bottom by the cardboard. I'm going to put some hot glue there and pull diamond wrap around the bottom edge of this foam ball. Now going up to the second level, I'm going to do this in sections. I'm gluing the bottom edge lined up with the first line of diamonds. And then I'm going to cut slits at the top about every two rows. Since this dome curves, this will help me curve the diamond wrap around the sphere. So I'm going to put a little hot glue in sections and use a toothpick to push the diamond wrap down around the sphere. And you just want to keep doing that till you get all the way up to the top in little sections. And I'm going to just use up here a little square piece of diamond wrap. And now I have my sparkly base ready. Now last Christmas I picked up a ton of these ornaments, these little mirror ball ornaments, and I'm going to use this for this project. Now these are usually only out during Christmas at Dollar Tree, so if you can't find them you can use these little styrofoam balls. I got these from Walmart. They're a little bit bigger, but you can spray paint them silver or wrap them in diamond wrap but that might take a little time. So I'm going to spray paint these just so you can see what they look like. And this is what that ball looks like spray painted compared to the little mirrored sparkly ball. So that's just another option for you if you can't find these sparkly balls at this time. But I'm going to use the mirror ball for this project right now. Okay, so to make my sparkly clusters, I'm using gems. And I already had two big tubs of gems. This one has an assortment of shapes, and the other one has an assortment of circle gems. So I'm going to go through and pick out all the large and small um, circle gems. Now this tub I got from Hobby Lobby or Michaels I believe and it costs about $15.99 but it is well worth it because I've had this for years and I've used it on many many projects so the one tub goes a long way. So on the original piece there are nine clusters with nine gems on each. In the inspiration photo most of the gems are large. But since I have used these tubs a lot, I don't have many large pieces. So I'm using what I have. I'm using one really large one, two uh, medium large ones, and the rest will be small um, circle gems. So we'll see how that works out. But if you do get a new tub, you can certainly use more of the larger pieces and it will look closer to the original inspiration piece. Okay, so to make my clusters, I'm going to start with uh, the centerpiece, my ball, sparkly ball. <clears throat> I'm going to cut the little um, string off. And I'm using this toothpick on this styrofoam just to hold it in place while I put it together. Now to make my gem clusters, to attach the gems, I am using this two and a half inch nail. You can use this or the two picks, but while the two picks are drying, I'm going to use this nail to show you how it looks with the metal nails. So I'm going to take the hot glue and put a, a nice dollop on and take the nail and I'm going to twist it around and then I'm going to tilt it at an angle. Since this piece will be on the outside of the sphere, I want it to tilt forward so you can see it while it's hanging against the wall. So I have this tilted at about a 30 degree angle and I like to blow on it 30 times and that helps it dry fast and uh, set in place. And this is what that piece looks like. So I want to stick this into my mirror sphere but I'm going to use a, a little nail to pop one of the tiles out where I want to attach it. And then I'm going to put a drop of hot glue 
right in that spot and then push my nail down into that hole. And I want to make sure my gem is facing forward. So I'm doing the same thing with the two uh, large pieces a size down. The gems are glued at an angle and they're evenly spaced around. Now for the smallest gems I'm gluing three of the heads at an angle and three of them straight on. So the angle ones will go around the side and the ones straight on will go in the center. And this is what my cluster looks like. And like I said, if you had all large gems, then it will be more brilliant. But I think this will be nice and elegant also. Okay, next I'm going to stick the long rod into the bottom of this piece. And that rod is also going to go in at sort of an angle so that the cluster faces forward. So I did one of these with the metal rod and the nails and this one on the right is with the wooden skewers and the two picks. So you can see the difference. Now it looks pretty much the same except when I push the two picks in with the spray paint it, it leaves um, rough edges. The metal one looks a little more solid and um, more like a sculpture piece. but. Um, they're pretty close so you could use either R, uh, use the skewers and two picks and save a little money. But it is pretty similar, very uh, little difference. So I made nine of these clusters and now it's time to assemble them. My viewer Michelle said that this entire piece was about 16 and 3 fourths inches around. So uh, I'm going to cut these rods down. The rods that I have before I cut them were 12 inches. You can actually just cut them all in half so that they're 6 inches for each cluster and that should work um, just perfectly for this size. And I'm going to cut this at an angle so that it um, sticks well into the styrofoam. So I'm going to stick this in close to the bottom and uh, about two diamonds up and I want to make sure that the clusters can sit um, comfortably against the surface so that um, that's the way it'll be against the wall. So I'll put in two first and see um, to make sure that it's about 16 and 3 fourths inches across and at that size it leaves you with about four inches of rod uh, between the clusters and the ball. So if you took the original um, rod 12 inches and cut it in half that should be perfect for each piece. Now I'm going to put a little hot glue right at the entrance just to make sure it stays in place. And again make sure you use in the Gorilla um, hot glue sticks for attaching all the pieces. This will keep it um, together stronger. So I'm putting four clusters in evenly spaced around flush with the surface and then I'm putting one cluster in between each of the two but up a little higher and slightly inward at an angle so that it looks like this two rows sort of staggered. Now my last cluster is going to go in the center and this one I put the rod right at the bottom so it sits up straight. And this one I'm going to cut a little shorter than the other ones about three inches from the um, bottom of the cluster and this will give it a nice rounded look. And with that I think I'm done. So here is what the original um, that Michelle loved looks like compared to our DIY version on the right. And I think it came out really fantastic. It's just as sparkly and beautiful. It is different. The crystals are smaller and the rods are thinner. But I love the variation of the large and small crystals. 
and the thin rods give it a lot of dimension and interest it makes it look really elegant and of course it looks really beautiful hanging on my wall so there you go Michelle this is how you can make your own and I'm not sure how much the original cost because I couldn't find it available online but you could probably make this for less than $12 with the metal pieces and less than $10 with the wooden pieces. So I hope you have fun with this and I'll see you all next week. Check out my new Etsy store where you can get some of the very projects made on this show. I also added new project guide booklets with full color step-by-step -step instructions for some of your favorite projects, including the Bohemian Crystal Table Lamp. I also just added brand new coffee filter flower instructions. Most digital downloads just $3. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my Your House a Home multi-surface acrylic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And from Amazon, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1 with all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.